archer automaton is coming on in leaps and bounds. Well, I suppose to be fair, he's pretty much standing still. But what I've done is I've built him a plinth, so you've got the motor gearbox below ground level. So that won't be seen in the final thing. So it's looking a lot cleaner. He's got feet, which is nice. Uh, the left arm motion is controlled on a cam now, which gives me much better control of you know, the actual movement. I may even do that on his right arm motion. Big change is the bow has been made demountable. So it sort of wedges into that socket there. Because uh, basically it was a pain in the backside. I kept stabbing myself with it. And at one point it touched the nose of the belt sander. And it ground away the very tip of the bow and the string. So I had to do a bit of reworking there. He's got a basics of a neck there which will give him movement that way and also rotary motion uh, and I've started work on a release mechanism so let's rotate him you can see I'll cut a slot in his forearm so there'll be a lever in there pivoting there which can push the string off this finger there will be other fingers, but this one's been riveted and then welded. So it's a nice clean round bit of rod, so that should give a smooth movement to slip the string off it. So all in all, a lot of tidying up. And I've even had it picking up the arrow nicely. Because every time I move something or rearrange it, you think, oh, he's not going to pick up the arrow. But I've now found that I'm able to... You know, rapidly adjust it to get the arrow pickup working nicely. There he goes. Head's a bit floppy at the minute. So, all in all, good progress. Watch this space. <laughs>